the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 169, Amos 1 to 5. Amos is justice. Declaring God's judgment against the surrounding countries and North Israel, Amos pleaded with them to establish righteousness and justice throughout the nation. First point. In order to make the people of North Israel return to God, God sent prophets Elijah, Elisha, and also Amos. During the Omni dynasty, God sent Elijah and Elisha to North Israel to set them straight. During the economically prosperous times of Jeroboam II, God sent prophets again to remind them of God's laws. God sent them Amos. Amos ministered during the days of South Judah's Uzziah and North Israel's Jeroboam II. Amos was a shepherd of Tekoa, but God sent Amos, who was from South Judah, to deliver God's message in North Israel. So Amos went to North Israel and started to deliver God's words. Although he was not a high priest or from the royal family like the other prophets, Amos delivered God's message with the heart of God who was most distressed. Amos went to North Israel and started to speak about Aram, Philistine, Tyre, Edom, Ammon, Moab, South Judah, and North Israel and told them of their sins. He warned that they were to receive God's punishment. What Amos clearly pointed out was that God ruled over the entire world and that Israel was not to rely on their surrounding countries, but only on God. A second point, God governs the whole world and the history. Amos mentioned the six countries that surrounded South Judah and North Israel, and warned that they would receive God's punishment. Amos said that God would punish Aram. This was what he said the king of Assyria complied by attacking Damascus and capturing it. He deported its inhabitants to Kerr and put resin to death. The second regarded the Philistines. This is the word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the Philistines before Pharaoh attacked Gaza. The Philistines later became conquered by Alexander during the Hellenistic Empire. The third was about Tyre. Amos said that Tyre would be conquered in the hands of Alexander during the Hellenistic Empire. The fourth concerned Edom. The Edomites, who had descended from Isa, helped the Babylonian Empire when they attacked their brother country, Jerusalem. And this was regarded as wicked in the eyes of God. Regarding Edom, Amos claimed that when Rome destroyed Jerusalem in AD 70, Edom would also fall. The fifth concerned Ammon. Ammon, along with Moab, continuously attacked Israel. Therefore, Amos told them that Ammon's capital city would be conquered by Babylon. Next was judgment on Moab. Moab too was to be conquered by Babylon. Regarding South Judah, Amos told them that they did not keep God's laws, and so they were to be conquered by Babylon in 586 BC. Third point. Through Amos, God revealed the exact sins of Samaria in North Israel. Amos told the seven countries surrounding North Israel of God's punishment on them, and now Amos spoke of the punishment for North Israel. Amos claimed that North Israel had no justice, and that they made slaves out of their people and collected way too much tax. God called North Israel a foreign country, 
as well as one which did not obey God's laws. They did not care about the foreigners or the laws of the Nazirite. Amos told them that they were to fall under the Assyrian army in 722 BC. God's judgment on those Israel, so Amos started with here the descendants of Israel. God told them the faults of their leaders and also told them that they would be punished for their sins. God told them that all they did was work in the way of Jeroboam. Fourth point, God rebuked the sins of the wealthy people in Samaria. Through Amos, God outlined the sins of North Israel one by one. The first concerned the nobles of North Israel. Hear this word, you cows of Bashan and Mount Samaria. You women who oppress the poor and cross the needy and say to your husbands, bring us some drinkers. God told them that they ignored the poor and took from them, oppressed the poor and crossed the needy. They had no heart for God, but acted as though they were religious. God told them that they would be punished. Despite their country's warnings, they neither listened to God nor repent when God took away their food. They did not repent even when there was a drought. They did not repent even when they were faced with natural disasters or when there was a disease. God had sent them punishments to make them return to Him, but they refused to become God's people. Thus, they had to hear God's message of punishment through Amos. Fifth point, Amos proclaimed God's day when there would be judgment and he furthermore told the people to repent. After telling them of the punishment they would get, Amos pleaded with the people to return to God. Amos sang a lamenting song. He then asked the people to return to God. Amos proclaimed God's day. Amos said that God would judge those who falsely offered to him. Hosea mentioned the same thing. Despite all this, Amos did not give up on those Israel and asked them to repent. Amos eventually had to predict the fall of those Israel. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.